see every day I wear these rings with a lot of pride. Uh, it's symbolic of a perfect season. Everything has to go right. Uh, the first one is always like your first love, your first kid. The first one always has a little more special meaning to you when you win it. So the 1971 I hold in high esteem. Uh, because that team personified team. Can't mention Frazier without Bradley, without the Bush, without Reed, without Barnett. The 73 team was a more talented team. We had Earl DePearl, we had Jerry Lucas, but I would say the 70 team is, is my darling. Uh, my partner is a big Nick fan, and then one day he approached me for perhaps about doing a restaurant. So it took us maybe three months to find this venue and it exceeded my expectations. I didn't really know what to expect, but once I saw this 10,000 square feet and, and all the grandeur that he put in here, I was really overwhelmed. What has happened to the game today, everybody's a specialist because you have the point guard who doesn't shoot, the shooting guard doesn't dribble, so you're taking away the versatility of the players. So back in the day when I played, you a guard, you had to rebound, you had to shoot, you had to dribble. You had to defend, you had to do everything. So that's why guys today uh, are not compared to Oscar Robertson, Jerry West, myself, Isaiah Thomas, Joe Dumars, those type of players because the game has changed. What makes him phenomenal is his ability to shoot the through ball from all different areas. So, But then sometimes I see him, the way he dishes the ball, the way he handles the ball, He's the guy that kind of guy can make a transition. So I think uh, he probably could play in any era, like Oscar Robertson, Jerry West, a lot of the uh, former great players from in the past. Well, you see this chinchilla as we sit in this booth, the chinchilla on the walls. Uh, the colors of the tables are like the, some of my cow suits, my zebra suits. Uh, the ceiling is a replica of a uh, potpourri of my different suits. So it definitely has the Clyde ambiance when you come into the restaurant. Uh, a lot of people are surprised because it's more of a sports bar, but kind of an upscale sports bar. So when they taste the food, and that has been our biggest catalyst, is the food. Everyone, oh, oh, the food is great, the food is great. Really like the food, so that's really catapulted the restaurant. All right, this is Walt Clyde Frazier, and I'm the owner, the proud owner of Clyde's Wine and Dine, located at 37 and 10th, it's actually a whole block, it's 37 and between 37 and 38th on 10th. It's a sort of sports bar. We have 40 state-of-the-art TVs throughout the restaurant. Uh, the cuisine is steak shop, chicken, seafood, burgers, fries, guacamole. So we have something for every palate. And uh, I've been overwhelmed by the support I've received from uh, the public. It's also very kid-friendly. We have a mini basketball hoop here. So you can come and do that. We do a lot of birthday parties. We do bar mitzvahs. We do uh, uh, business parties. So very versatile venue. And as you would expect, it has the Clyde ambiance. <laughs> so if you come, you will not be disappointed to see my styling and profiling going on throughout the restaurant. So I have to go with the Bulls, even if you can't hand check. You know, the hand checking was the biggest transition I had to make as a rookie where guys could literally push you around. It wasn't a foul. So even without that, I think that Bulls team with Jordan, Pippen, Grant, uh, you know, they were phenomenal. So I'm not like Pippen. I don't think they would sweep them. <laughs> Scotty Pippen just said that he, they would probably sweep them. I think uh, the Warriors might win one or two games, but uh, I think overall the Bulls will take them.